Nalanda Nalam which means a fully bloomed lotus which is a symbol of wisdom and knowledge da in sanskritam meaning to give thus nalanda becomes the one who gives knowledge nalam dadati ti nalanda state in the ancient empire of magadh near capital cities of patliputra and rajgrih present day patna and rajgir nalanda was the continuous source of knowledge and wisdom for 7 centuries nalanda was one of the greatest ancient universities of Bharat with accommodation and dormitories which once accommodated 10000 plus students and 2000 plus teachers in her peak days it has a beautiful story of prosperous foundation and evolution ended with a rancid destruction and dissolution state over the course of time Nalanda University was flourished under reign of Gupta dynasty in 5th century. Gupta king Chakraditya also known as Kumar Gupta the 1st patronized Nalanda. It was an international university which attracted scholars from all parts of the world including Persia, Greek, Central Asia, Iran, China, Tibet Japan and Indonesia Nalanda had misfortune of attacks which was attacked 3 times first by Hans and restored by Skandagupta second time it was attacked by the Goras and the complete restoration was done by King Harshavardhan Nalanda was the center for study of various subjects the subjects in nalanda included traditional vedic knowledge along with study of grammar astronomy polity economics state of law architecture medicine and ayurved famous personalities associated with nalanda includes nagarjuna aryabhatta धर्मकीर्ति धर्मपाल शीलभद्र आर्यदेव अतीश ध्यानचंद्र फेमस चाइनीज ट्रैवलर हुआन सांग विजिटेड नालंदा इन सेवेंथ सेंचुरी Master plan of Nalanda was evolved along an axis following north south 
passage. It has a 30 meter wide passage connecting monasteries and temples. Monasteries were placed on the eastern side and temples are placed on the western side of passage. Nalanda was a residential university which offered free education and accommodation. For the purpose of education and stay, various vihars and monasteries were constructed in the campus which housed number of students and teachers. There are 11 excavated vihars or monasteries in present site of Nalanda. Vihars were constructed for the accommodation purpose. They had a central courtyard surrounded with a residential chambers for students and teachers. The primary material for the construction were red stone and red bricks. Courtyards and central spaces in Vihar were often associated with the activities of teaching and learning, preaching and discussion places, doing Shastrarth, along with worship and meditation. Every Vihar was provided with spaces for studying and research. It housed a small library and discussion places. Vihars were residential spaces for users, thus they contained kitchen, storage houses, washing areas and wells for the water usage in drinking and sanitation, making them a complete livable spaces for all the users. Nalanda had one of the greatest libraries of ancient world which housed lakhs of books on various subjects. There were four main buildings of Nalanda library which are 
नेमली धर्मगुंज रत्नरंजक रत्नोदिधी एंड रत्नसागर धर्मगुंज वॉज द बिगेस्ट नाइन स्टोरेड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ लाइब्ररी इन नालंदा देर वेर मेटेकुलस कॉपी टेक्सटिंग एंड प्रिपरेशन ऑफ बुक्स ऑन वेरियस सब्जेक्ट वॉज हैपनिंग साइमल्टेनियसली थ्रू आउट द सेंचुरीज धर्मगुंज वॉज द ग्रेटेस्ट लाइब्ररी ऑफ नालंदा अलॉन्ग विथ रत्न सागरा मीनिंग ओशन ऑफ ज्वेल्स रत्नोदिधि मीनिंग सी ऑफ ज्वेल्स रत्न रंजक मीनिंग एडॉन्ड बाय ज्वेल्स क्राउंड एट द टॉप ऑफ नालंदा there were 10 great temples and prayer courtyards in the nalanda university out of which six brick temples found during the excavation process at site This legendary heritage of knowledge and wisdom was destroyed by ignorant and ransacked commander Bakhtiyar Khilji in the later half of 12th century. The cruel commander ordered the death of residing monks, students and teachers, burned down the great libraries and destroyed over 90 lakh books and manuscripts of ancient knowledge. and left us with a big emptiness o ki tak gamati ha tasudarunan जैसा 